Hey, what's going on? Bunny Flocks here. I know it's been a couple of weeks, at least two or three weeks. Um, so, quick OSC update. Uh, I don't know what week I'm on. I'm going to have to calculate that when I upload this. But uh, I'm officially 13 days away from my first attempt of my OSCP. And I say attempt because I'm 89% positive I'm going to fail. But that's not, that's not a, a, you know... A, I'm not being down or being negative towards myself and my abilities, um, and I'm okay with <clears throat> I'm okay with knowing my chances of, of failure are great um, because I do plan on taking this at least three or four times, or if not more, you know. However, however many I need to take it to pass, I'm gonna do that. Um, but so this, I know this first attempt come April 12th is gonna be more so of me getting my feet wet. Um, experiencing it for the first time, you know, staying up 24 hours, uh, trying to manage time, trying to to enumerate, um, spending time. So uh, I feel like if anything, if anything is going to be more of a 24 hour study block, you know, I'll just be basically studying for 24 hours in in a, in, a, in the exam attempt. Um, I may get, uh, you know, I may root a few boxes, the buffer, you know, I may get the buffer overflow, but I'm not too concerned with passing this very first time for the simple fact of I know there's people out there much smarter than me uh, more experienced than me failing their first time um, so the numbers aren't looking too good for me uh, so far I've only at, at <clears throat> the time of this video I've only rooted seven, maybe seven or eight boxes probably seven um, which again I know is not great numbers considering uh, you know other people will get 10s, 20s, 30s, you know, before they attempt the first time. The retakes are only 60 bucks, you know. Um, I figure that's not too much of a, <clears throat> it's not too much of an ask for a retake. So this April 12th, Friday, I think it's, <clears throat> I had to just get a quick drink there. Throat was a little dry. But um, what was I saying? Yeah, so April 12th, first attempt. Um, I'm doing it more for, so for the study time, um, you know, I commit myself to a 24 hour time block to study, see how the test is, take it one time, um, see, see how good I do on it. Um, you know, get a feel for the, for the boxes. Uh, obviously I'm going to continue to study all the way until that, that date. <sighs> um, I'm still, I've still been struggling with time management as far as, you know, between work, personal life, and like sit down study time, um, so that's that's still a struggle for this this type of stuff. Uh, oh, I want to thank the the hacker community. I want to thank you guys on Discord, on Twitter. Like you guys have been amazing help. Um, whenever I get stuck on something, you know, I reach out to you guys. You know, I, I won't I don't have anybody specific to name. It's just uh, the, the infosec community and, and in general is extremely helpful. Um, and so, I, you know, I try to be as helpful as well. You know, if someone asks me questions, I try to respond. I try to uh, answer all my all the questions that come to me, whether through, you know, social media or YouTube. Um, you know, obviously, I'm giving out free material because it makes me feel good to do that. So I love giving books away. You know, so far, I've only given away two books. Um, I've given away two IT books. But I want to give out uh, in these contests all types of books. Um, you know, I'm a huge reader. I swear by books. I think they're crucial to education and knowledge. Um, so I feel like every time I do a video, I'm going to just do a, a contest or a, I'll just do a free book giveaway. I'll put the link in the book uh, in the description if you want to buy it for yourself. Um, but I feel, you know, I feel good to give away books, to sh spread knowledge, share knowledge um, to people that uh, maybe otherwise wouldn't have heard of a, of a specific book or been inspired or motivated to read a, a particular book if they don't hear about it or get a review of it real quick. Um, so this week, I want to talk about this book here. It's called, let me get a good light, The Motivation Manifesto. It's basically a, a really good book about staying motivated. Um, it has, it's kind of poetic. At times it can be cryptic. Um, I'm a poetic, cryptic guy, so that's, you know, that's fine for me. Um, it's basically, uh, the subtitle is nine declarations to claim your personal power. See it there. Uh, ow. And I'm using it, you know, I've used it in my studies. 
Um, not for so much for IT, obviously, but for motivation and staying focused on what it is that I want to achieve in life. Um, I find, you know, no matter what field you are aspiring to be, you know, where if it's entertainment, actress, singing, uh, you know, athletic, business, whatever it is, you know, you always have to stay motivated. And the world isn't necessarily or society isn't necessarily uh, tailored to uh, inspiring a lot of people to stay focused on their dreams. Um, you know, between politics and the news and, you know, uh, life, student loans, being in debt, work, personal stuff, you know, everybody has their their uh, distractions when it comes to achieving what they want in life. And so this book, I, I highly recommend it. Motivation Manifesto, I highly recommend it. Uh, read it, take it in, um, keep it on you. You know, it's one of those books you, you know, you get to a certain chapter or page, you know, bookmark it, come back to it when you're feeling down, when you're feeling unmotivated, uninspired. Um, it'll definitely pick you back up. For me, it's definitely worked. It's, it's been helping me with this OSCP stuff. Um, you know, there'll be time where I'm looking at this, I'll, I'll read a page or a chapter, and then I'll be inspired to just, you know, sit down and do two, three, four, five hours of, of Hack the Box or OSCP. So um, definitely inspirational. Um, I'm saying um a lot. It's one of my things. I say um a lot. I'm trying to get out of it, but um, not it hasn't happened yet. So what I'm gonna do if you want it, if you want this book, please subscribe, share, uh, put in the hashtag motivation manifesto. Um, I'll do another uh, contest in a week or two or next time I drop my video. Uh, for this time, I think I'm gonna do three of these. So I'm gonna do three winners of this book. Um, it's not relatively not that much. I think it's ten or fifteen dollars. I'm not sure. Um, so I'll pick three winners through that uh, randomizer. I'll do it three three times. So if you're motive, you know, if you want this book, if you want, uh, I'll send it straight to you from Amazon. Um, you know, if you win, I'll get your address. I'll send it over to you. Um, and then I think I'll do. I'm going to be giving away more books more often. It is, and it's not necessarily going to be IT. It could be business. It could be motivation. It could be self help. It could be IT. It could be security. I'm going to just try to broaden my horizons on on what this channel. The value of this channel uh, means to you guys, so I'm, I'm going to try to try to uh, increase the value um, through knowledge, through education, through free material, free books. Um, something that I really like about it, about this book, is how it, uh, you know, there's there's portions that's really poetic. Um, I'll be honest, you have to be a reader to really be indulged by this book um become indulged uh it's, it's somewhat wordy but it's not wordy wordy like super intelligent hard to read hard to know what they mean words it's it's wordy in its poeticness and uh words that are chosen you can tell there's specific words chosen to to portray a specific feeling or emotion um all, all in all you know, uh, if you get this book, either you win it or you, you buy it, it'll definitely motivate you. Just stay with it. Um, it might become a difficult read at times, but I'm telling you, uh, if you're not already open to certain certain wisdom, a certain knowledge about our reality, about the world, how it works, about manifestation and, and the law of attraction and the law of one, um, this book might not be for you. You might get lost. Well, you not you might not get lost. You might not understand a lot of it, a lot of the knowledge is trying to reinforce. But if you are uh, knowledgeable in some of those some of those areas, um, it's definitely going to be a great read for you. It's going to reinforce some things, and you also might learn something new. So um, that's the contest. I'm giving away three copies of this book, Motivation Manifesto, uh, by Brandon or Brendan Burchard. Um, so again, hit the comments, share, share, subscribe, like, comment, hashtag motivation manifesto. I'm giving away three of these. Um, if you feel like you're not interested in, in these types of books, um, but you may know someone who is or know someone that may benefit from reading something like this, go ahead and send a video to them. You know, have them, uh, has, you know, write a comment or hashtag on on the video so so they can become they could become part of the contest. 
um, and just just share knowledge. Like I, I implore you guys, we're in the information age, you know, the internet, in all its glory and all its flaws, is a huge information tool, a huge data tool. Um, we're we're at a point in in our humanity, in humanity's history, where to say I don't know something without uh, or just to give up with by saying I don't know something is so how, how do I be respectful it's so just I don't know unintelligent or or un, unproductive an unproductive mentality to have you know especially with Google with with search engines with what the internet you know with the internet with what the internet provides unless you know if you're in a third world country where electricity is an issue and and obviously internet access is an issue i could understand that this is this is not i'm not talking about those areas um we should all continue to strive to help those 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 areas and those people out in the world but if if you are in if you have internet access there's nothing you should not be able to do there's nothing you can't look up there's nothing you can't learn the, the information age is definitely what it is definitely that it's an information age everything is out there for the taking information should not should never be something or lack of information should not be something that is hindering you from accomplishing anything that you want that's just that's just the way it is if you're here in 2019 in the united states of america and other countries first world second world whatever countries that have internet access there are there are no more excuses for you i mean that's the, that's the way i personally feel there are literally zero excuses um, so that's my rant. That's my speech. Um, again, I want to just thank you guys. Thank you for uh, checking me out. OSCP, April 12th, first attempt. I'll keep you guys posted on that. Um, and I think that's all I have for this week. So uh, thank you guys, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks.